For this demo, I'm going to demonstrate variable width threads and warp-faced and weft-faced weaving. Notice in the pattern the multiple colors that we have. I think there's about five. And the one I'm going to change to variable width is this center yellow one. Pick the project manager. When you're using variable width threads, you will want to use the balanced weave type. Then go to the yarns, select the thread that you want to change to say narrower width. We want to make it narrower and we're going to edit the set. Let's say I'm going to use instead of a 10-2 tensile for that yellow color, I am going to use a 22 tensile. So I could put, oops, okay, back. I'm going to set it at 40 ends per inch, so 22. So you would set the number for variable width threads. The number is what you would set that yarn with. And then just to keep us reminded, I'll change this to 20 slash 2 instead of 10 to. Okay, so now I have a variable width done. Now let's look at the calculations. The calculations changed because Although you use the same amount of yarn for each color, the yarn for the yellow is set narrower, and so the loom width is now 9.1 inches instead of the 10. So you might have to go in and adjust the width on the loom. We have it at exact. Let's put it at loom, and we'll put this back to 10. So now we look at the calculations and you see that you're now getting the 9 inches that you wanted in the initial one. So if you change the variable width of the warp or the weft, then you need to adjust your pattern calculations to account for that change. You could either add more yarn to more distance for the yellow, or you could do it this way. But let's look at the pattern now as after we've done this. So we'll dismiss this and now look at the pattern. You can see that the yellow portion is much narrower than the other portions. So that's variable width threads. To show warp-faced weaving, I am going to use a different pattern. I want to use the Santa demo. The first thing you will notice is that you don't see any threading. That is because the threads are set very tightly and they will pack in and there isn't room to show it. But if you tap on the editing, then you see the warp threads. And what is happening is that the first column shows all green warps, and those warps pack in to show on the first column. Move over. The second column shows the second group of five warps, and that's down this column. Over. Let's line it up right there. There. One. One is green, that's this one. Black, 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 green, black, black, black. So these five or warps show the, th will be the third column. And we continue on over, and let's find the, the belt column. That looks like the belt right here. This is the white here, so this green is this green, then white, 
then three blacks, number five is black, back to four, three, two, one, and, a, and the green again. So that's this belt column. So that's why you don't see the threading when you step out because you'd have five warps right in this one column and there isn't any way to display that. To set something as warp face, well, if we go over to Project Manager here, you'll see, and we pick Setup, you see that it's set the last um, thing in the column here is warp faced. And if I set this to balanced, then it shows the thread. Let's just set it there and look at this. It shows the threads and the warp and the weft colors. In a warp faced weave, you don't get, you don't ever see the weft colors, and so they can be anything that you want. I put blue on the pivot point and green on pink on the others just to show you how you don't see them when you are in a balanced weave. But you do see the threadings, the threads. And if we look back at, say, this, uh, the foot here, you'll see green, black, 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 green, black, 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 green. And that's these five picks that we looked. But when they are all kind of in their own little space here so that when you actually set them really tight, these all pack in. So let's go back and set it at warp faced again. So now you see your design. You don't see any of the weft threads that are showing here, but you do see the warp threads when you prick on edit. And I find it actually easier to edit in the warp faced design than in the, uh, the warp faced type rather than in balanced weave because you can kind of see what you're getting. So that's how, how warp faced weaving is drawn on a screen. The set is usually very tight. It's as tight as you can get. Sometimes you don't even use a reed. You just put the threads in and let them bunch together. Or you sit, you use a very wide reed, like a five dent reed, and put a lot of threads in it. If you use, a say, a 10 or 12 and try and put them in there, they, they catch on each other and it's hard to, to weave them that way. So with warp faced, you want to either use no reed or use a reed that has a large dent number in it. Now I'm going to demo weft faced and I'm going to open a different pattern. We'll open the demo one and you'll notice that it's in balanced mode and I've set the treadling to be a lift plan so that it's easier to see what's lifted on the shafts. And the first thing I want you to notice in this pattern is that I'm weaving with a blue thread here and I'm lifting shafts two, three, and four. So on the shaft that I don't lift is where you see the weft thread. So that's on all the ones here across. The next row, I'm lifting one and three. And so you don't see it. You don't lift two and four, but all the weft threads show on three or two and four. So when you're doing weft face, the pattern shows on the shafts that you don't lift which is why I'm showing it in this. And again, if you look at it, you see that like the warp faced, where they will all pack in because they're on different shafts for each of them. One, two, three, oh, and there's the four, one. Now I'm going to go over to my project manager and on the last 
I am on the page here. It says warp face and weft face, and we're going to try it in weft face. And you will see what the draft looks like as woven weft face. And so you see, again, we'll pull this up. You'll see that the first shaft, you see blue on the first one, then on the second, third, fourth. So that's the entire column. On the fourth pick, oops, undo that. Go over here to this. On the fourth, the third pick, you're weaving with green. So when you lift shaft three, you see the green. So this column here, or row, this row matches the first three picks. The next row is blue, green, green. And you will see the blue here on shaft one, and then you see green, green, and green on the uh, shafts two, three, and four. It works the same as warp face, but the shaft that you're not lifting is the one that will show. If the three picks that you're using for each row are on different shafts, and then the threads will collapse into each other, and you will see a weft faced design. Also notice, again, that you don't see the treadling this time when you're in weft face, but you do see the threading. And the threading is in whatever color you want because it doesn't show. So that finishes this demo of variable width threads, warp faced and wet faced.